Andy, I was outside today for our rehearsal for Silver Bells in the City tomorrow, 6 to 8 on Fox. Tune in. I'll tell you what, though. You don't have to be outside very long to turn into a human popsicle. <laughs> I was absolutely no doubt. numb. No I had doubt. two winter coats on, too. You know, normally it'd be a night where it'd be about 40 when everybody gets there, fall through the 30s. But one thing for sure, whether you're downtown Jackson or Lansing, those buildings create their own winds. Oh, it was so awful. They're called orographic winds and they funnel through, so you're going to have that. And temperatures aren't going to be different tomorrow night either, so you really need the full winter gear if you're going down there. The good Two news. Two winter jackets, Andy, yes. and I was still cold to the core. Yeah, and then you're holding a cold mic too, that's going to be another <laughs> thing. But it certainly have to bundle up and there won't be any bad weather to drive in, so that's the good part of all of it. Right. Even tonight there's still some flurries out there. We still have a, a couple of advisories still remaining along the lake shore, just to, for completeness sake, I'm showing them to you. None of our other counties in Michigan really have to worry about that. And there still could be a dusting of snow here and there. We're getting that here in downtown Lansing and uh, northern sections as well. So that's still a possibility. It's just nothing major anymore. The winds have really died off. At about 4 o'clock, they were gusting over 30 miles an hour, and they've quickly quieted as high pressure moves in. We still create a pretty cold wind chill. Well, why is that? Well, because the air temperature is getting into the low teens to near 10 degrees, so you don't need much of a wind at all to get yourself a single digit wind chill. So it's kind of a catch 22 there. Not much wind, but still on a cool side. The bands of snow that stretched all across the state at one time, you can see there's just a little bit now still in the area. What's really going to shut this off quickly tomorrow is winds are turning to the southwest and that'll put an end to the lake effect. And the lake effect's not coming back on Saturday, not on Sunday, not on Monday, not on Tuesday, maybe later next week. So finally we put it, that to rest, but you still see there's quite a bit in the key areas as the winds are starting to finally shut down and eventually turn to the southwest uh, tomorrow afternoon there won't be any blue in our state still got the really heavy snows down there in buffalo coming in off of lake erie as well the local temperatures skies are clear off to the northeast 11 in ithaca 13 in owasso closer to the lake shore still in the 20s with the cloud cover we should all be down around 10 or 11 by morning there's still a lot of cold air around tomorrow's going to be another chilly day even though we got more sun in the forecast and no lake effect snows other than morning flurries this cold air still got to rotate through. It's still over the top of us. We've got one more day before it pushes back to the north and we start to moderate our temperatures. The high pressure is just to our southwest and that'll be over the top of us. You take a look at how the uh, whole thing is moving across the country. The cold air still spinning here, but look at stuff coming in from the west. That's what's going to change this jet stream to get us warming by Sunday and Monday. The forecast models got a few lake effect flurries in the morning and then quickly we turn mostly sunny. The cloud cover comes back late in the day. High clouds mainly, but it'll be fine for silver bells or going down to Jackson. It's the overnight into sunrise that we could see some patchy freezing mist or drizzle. Then that will shift to the east. If you're going to the Spartan game, cloudy, couple of sprinkles only in the 30s, folks. It'd be tough sitting in the stands. And then the rain showers make more of a progression to the north on Sunday. Pretty heavy rains, I think. Significant rain Sunday night and Monday, but the jet stream shows everything off to the north when it comes to the cold. We'll stay mild into about Tuesday, and then that colder weather settles in, and there'll be another shot of cold air after Thanksgiving, and we'll get back to the kind of weather we're about ready to leave behind. 11 degrees is your low tonight. A couple of flurries or snow showers, even a flurry when you wake up, but nothing major. There still will be some slick spots, so be aware of that. It's just going to be a cold night. Our 1 800 Hansen's weather kid, well, that's Savannah. She's age five from Holt, and she's got a little sunshine tomorrow. Still got the winter gear because we're only going to be at 26, and those snowflakes are just the morning flurries. Nothing during the afternoon hours. Seven day outlook. Well, Saturday morning, the best way I could represent it is a mixture of clouds, sun uh, trying to peek through, but mainly the snow and rain. And that's only part of the morning. Most of the afternoon, it's hit or miss spotty showers. Sunday, Rain moves in, pretty rainy night. Monday it ends, temperatures in the 40s. The first cool down is light snow Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday is the day that we could have accumulating snow, unfortunately for those who will be traveling as temperatures go back below normal and below freezing. So no problems downtown. Super Bells will be fine, but you got to bundle up. Everything, you'll, you'll need everything for that. I'm getting tips from viewers here. They're tweeting me on the desk. Two jackets, hot chocolate with marshmallows, and thermals. That's what they're telling me to do. <laughs> uh, I, I, long wore, I wore a long underwear at the Spartan game. It worked well. Yeah, that's a good game plan. I look yeah. like the Michelin man it out doesn't there. doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, Andy, thank you.